So now we shall take a look at Kubuntu 22.04. What's new in Kubuntu? Kubuntu is one of those that I have a warm place in my heart for because I used it for 14 years. Minus a little short stint when I was with Open Soup's Tumbleweed. Then I went back to Kubuntu. And then at some point, Monjaro KDE dragged me away from Kubuntu, kicking and screaming the whole way. But I still really like Kubuntu. I run Kubuntu on my mother's computer. She's 78. I run the uh, Kubuntu LTS. So as soon as uh, 22.04.1 releases, I will upgrade her computer. And everything should go smooth. I have had very little trouble out of Kubuntu. Can't say enough good things about it. It's not bleeding edge, but it is very stable. And in my mother's uh, situation, I can run the LTS, not have to worry about upgrading for a couple of years probably, and run the background unattended upgrades. So she is getting security updates without me having to worry about it. So that is my push for Kubuntu LTS. So we're going to install this and we're going to check it out. The installer is not the new Flutter installer that Ubuntu has. The Kubuntu team deemed it not ready yet, not 100% ready yet, and decided to stick with the old tried and true installer. So I'm sure you've seen this before. Just gonna hit continue next a few times. Use all disk. Hit continue. All right, we shall do a quick restart. And just like that, Kubuntu is now installed. We're going to go ahead and hit the console. We're going to do any updates that might be needing. Outstanding. Did the updates while it was installing, I'm sure. So what do we have that is new? We're going to go ahead and hit the informational page, Info Center. Uh, we are KDE Plasma version 5.24.4. The 2.4 is the LTS version of Plasma. KDE Frameworks 5.92. QT version 5.15. That might be the one I'm thinking of, LTS version. Kernel version 5.15, and that 5.15 has a built-in SMB server. So if you're doing Samba shares, it should be a whole lot easier. I do really like, if you haven't seen this yet, in the graphics stack, very just a load of information here now. Love it. OpenGL, Vulkan, X server. I am running the X server right now. And just to show it off, there is a brand new overview. If you hit meta, which is usually the Windows key on the keyboard, and W, you get the new overview. A lot of people have said this looks very much like GNOME, and well, I gotta say it kind of does, actually. And we still have that overview. So, yeah. We are on Mesa, or Mesa 22.0.1. Sweet. I'm going to fire up the Discover. The uh, software utility is native to KDE. And I just want to see what versions made in live. It 
his version, KDN Live version 21.12.3, which is actually the same version I'm on in Manjaro. That's pretty impressive, actually. But by default, we get Firefox browser, KDE Connect. Love KDE Connect. And KTorrent, Thunderbird Mail. Do have VLC media player installed. We also have Eliza, music player. In Office, we have all of the LibreOffice suite, as well as Ocular. Let's fire up system settings real quick. And the standard light and dark. I use the dark on mine. I don't use a straight dark, I don't think. I use a combination. But just for giggles, we'll go ahead and set dark theme. And we have driver manager. That's the one I'm looking for. Uh, driver manager is if you need additional drivers for video cards, wireless drivers, anything like that. KDE Connect, like I said, love it. Printers on Kubuntu have always been great. Uh, usually find anything that I need it to find. Has Thunderbolt, that's cool. KDE Wallet. I'm not a big fan, but it needs to be used in certain situations. Like I'm using K-Mail right now, so KDE Wallet needs to be there. Has a built-in, has the firewall set up right here. So a lot of great things going on, Kubuntu 22.04. And I'm a massive fan of KDE Plasma. I've always been a fan, longtime fan of Kubuntu. If you like KDE Plasma, you don't need a bleeding edge distro. I always recommend Kubuntu. But that's, that's going to be all for this one. Uh, if you like what I do here, like and subscribe and make an old truck driver happy. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.